Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Tyler Stratton from Stratton Sports TV and today we are breaking down the top five Big Ten quarterbacks of the last 25 years. The game's not going on, not much going on still in the Big Ten offseason, so we're going to have some fun and look at Big Ten history. Top five quarterbacks of the last 25 years. This is Stratton Sports. Starting off this list at number five is a controversial selection, Russell Wilson. He only played one year in the Big Ten, so this was an absolutely brutal choice. There were about four or five other quarterbacks I considered, but what he did at one season at Wisconsin, I had to put him at number five. You know, he set the all-time record for pass efficiency, meaning he threw a lot of touchdowns, he didn't throw a lot of interceptions, and he completed most of his passes. They won the inaugural Big Ten championship game against Michigan State in an absolute thriller where he came up with big throws, and Russell Wilson, we saw a glimpse of what he was going to do with the Seattle Seahawks. It was just an awesome season, and if you take account his three years at NC State and all the touchdowns he threw, it would be number one in the Big Ten Conference history. He threw for close to 110 touchdowns. What he did that year, he limited mistakes, beat you with his legs when he needed to. I had to put Russell Wilson at five because of the mark he made on that Wisconsin football program in 2011, leading them to a Big Ten championship. Coming in at number four is JT Barrett for the Ohio State Buckeyes. You know, in his four years at Ohio State, all he did was go 4-0 against Michigan, win a Big Ten title, and win two major bowl games where he was the MVP. Barrett was awesome, and he's the all-time leader in passing touchdowns, the only quarterback in Big Ten history to have over 100 in his career. He also had two of the six best passing touchdown seasons in the Big Ten, and he was just an awesome player those four years at Ohio State. I know the team was loaded. I know the team was stacked with talent but he executed the offense brilliantly and he was solid in big games think about the Penn State game you know Penn State was up double digits in the fourth quarter two consecutive touchdown drives Barrett led he was just awesome you know he could also get it done with his legs second most rushing TDs by Big Ten quarterback in history so he did it through the air and he did it with his legs he was just a smooth all-around operator and 4-0 against Michigan, that's an unbelievable stat, and he played pretty well in those football games. Got a Big Ten championship and two major bowl wins to go with it. J.T. Barrett was fun to watch, and I got him at number four on this list. Coming in at number three on this list is a very controversial one because a lot of people could say he shouldn't be in the top five because his teams didn't win a lot of football games, but Antoine Randallel was as close as a one-man team you'll ever see in the game of football. I mean, he just took the Big Ten by storm with passing ability, his rushing ability. I mean, he's top 30 in the Big Ten all-time for rushing, and he's a quarterback. He had more rush yards than Saquon Barkley. He had a year where he rushed for 1,000 and passed for 1,000. He was just an electric quarterback, and despite... You know, his on-the-field presence, they didn't win games because the defense and the team as a whole was atrocious. Where the offense got better and better and ranked higher each year, the defense was ranked near the bottom of the whole NCAA. So it wasn't his fault. But Randall L., you could make the argument for him being most important to a college football team in the Big Ten the last 25 years. And he put on a show, and that's why I'm putting him here at number three, because the talent was unquestionable, and what he did in the football field was spectacular for Indiana. Coming in at number two, the last Big Ten player to win the Heisman Trophy, Troy Smith. And, you know, he's one of the quarterbacks I just always remember. I remember the show he put on against Michigan his junior and senior year. He went 3-0 against Michigan. In all those games, he threw for eight touchdowns, only one pick, and close to 900 yards. The guy was electric. Remember the game of the century, number one Ohio State, number two Michigan. 29 for 41 and four touchdowns, 300 plus yards. The guy was just electric in big games. Fiesta Bowl against Notre Dame and a 34 to 20 win, 342 yards, multiple touchdowns. The guy was just awesome in big games. When the lights were the brightest, you knew what you were going to get from Troy Smith. And when you're the last Big Ten player to win the Heisman Trophy, you left your mark at Ohio State and the Big Ten Conference as 15 years later, we still have not had a Big Ten Heisman winner. And that's why Troy Smith is at number two. And look, number one is Drew Brees. I mean, I think it was clear cut here. All time leader in passing yards, over 10,000. He was just a machine. It was basketball on grass. He led a team that changed the Big Ten forever. Big Ten was more of a pound and ground style. Drew Brees and Joe Tiller opened the thing up. He took the Purdue Boilermakers, a historic basketball program, to their first Rose Bowl in over 30 plus years, and they have not been back since. And what Drew did was deliver in big games against Wisconsin on the road. Huge throw to win the game against Ohio State that Rose Bowl season. Let 
offensive line continues to do a great job. Wide open. Got him. Touchdown, Purdue. Seth Morales. Holy Toledo. Led his team from a come behind 28 to 10 victory against Michigan that year they went to the Rose Bowl. So he delivered in the biggest moment for that Purdue team when they went to the Rose Bowl. It was so fun to watch. Drew Brees was so electric. He was undersized. He wasn't recruited, yet he took the Big Ten by storm, set records, and we will always remember that 2000 season where Drew Brees took the Purdue Boilermakers to the Rose Bowl. One of the finest seasons of a quarterback you'll ever see. Hats off to number one, Mr. Drew Brees. Hey folks, I hope you did enjoy this top five list. I'm sure yours will be different. Comment below. Let me know what you think your top five quarterbacks of the last 25 years were. We'll discuss it. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you've yet to do so. And we will be back talking much more Big Ten in the next few days. Until then, this is Stratton Sports saying so long.